Ho, ho, ho. This is Matthias from Zurich. And I'm in James in Miami. Welcome to Across the Ocean. <laughs> Hi and welcome everybody to a new episode of Across the Ocean. Hello there James, how are you mate? Doing mate, really well, doing really well, how are you? It's good to see Not we've uh, both adopted the festive spirit. Absolutely, I really love your attire, it, uh, yeah, like we Twinsies. talked about it beforehand. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> love it when a plan yeah. comes together. <laughs> I had to dig this thing out of the attic, we haven't even decorated yet, so it's cobwebs and stuff you know <laughs> well you still got a couple of days but tell me james have you have you come into the festive spirit already we have yeah it's going to be a quiet one this year obviously uh no travel nobody's coming in uh so it's pretty much just going to be uh my wife and i just chilling really it'll be a very very quiet sort of christmas season but yeah that that's nice sometimes that's lovely so yeah kind of yeah, looking forward to it bad. but keeping it down low what about you yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same here. I'm going to spend some time with my family and I've going to, I'm going to have plenty of time to, you know, think back about this past 12 months and the year that we've, uh, we're getting to an end. Um, and also thinking about like all the crazy and cool stuff that I was able to actually do this year and uh, especially talking about, um, talking about all the different types of gear that I was able to try out and test and uh, I think for that, this, this entire year has actually been quite good for me because it gave me uh, the freedom to actually do just that, not travel, but test tons of different types of gear. Um, and this is basically what we kind of want to talk about in today's episode as well. We want to talk about um, gear that we've tried in the past year and also kind of um, our favorite bits and pieces that we have got to know in this past year and what is on our um, Santa wish list for this Christmas. Because I right. know that you've got a couple of really cool things written on that list, and I'm happy to share my list with you today as well. But let's talk first about um, the gear that we've tried in the past year. Has there been anything, James, that was um, of special interest or that really caught your attention when we talk about camera gear this year? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. There's there's new cool stuff out all the time. Um, I haven't made very many big strides uh, this year in terms of new purchases and that kind of stuff. Um, for obvious reasons, I wasn't traveling. I, I got kind of a bit demotivated, so I wasn't really like putting the money and the effort into upgrading and everything. But we're going to finish this year strong and we've got a good year next year lined up. Um, the, the, really the only thing I've done this year is upgrade the action camera, which, you know, I'm a big fan of and shoot a lot mm -hmm. on, on the underside. So, um, ordered the new GoPro Hero 9, of course, um, hasn't nice. come yet. It's still back ordered. I'm hoping to get it this week, but I'm really interested to see if there's a noticeable jump between 4k and 5k when it comes to underwater footage. So that's really all I've done this year in terms of new purchases. Uh, what about you? Um, I have gotten a couple of new things. I've, I've been able to try a lot of new things. And one of the things that, um, that I liked most from all the things that I've tried this year, and you're probably going to laugh now, but it's a Swiss company. It's the Kelden lights that I was able to try this year. And man, I can tell you these lights, they're just phenomenal. Like once you've Big got money. your hands on them. <laughs> Yeah, big money. But once you've got your hands on them, you don't want to let them go anymore. So I'm, I'm really, really seeing if I can get my hands onto a pair of these that I can call my own ones for next year. Um, other things that I've tried um, and some of you who might have seen videos on my channel regarding the creative use of light. Um, one thing that I've really enjoyed using this year was the Snoot Light. Now, there's different companies and they make like you probably know that from photography, taking photos out in the water where you use a snoot light to just pinpoint a certain part of your animal or of whatever you are taking photos or filming underwater and everything else stays dark around yeah. it and you just have that one 
piece of uh, of animal that it gets illuminated and i've experimented a little with that and i've really really um yeah i really found that quite interesting to do that and the way you can get very different shots underwater with very simple equipment so yeah. that's something that i bought for myself this year um a snoot light which one um, did you go with, with I got the WeFine um, we find Focus 3000. Okay. And then you've got like a snoot module that gets put onto it um, that actually just bundles that entire light um, to, to actually a really, really tiny dot. And you can be very creative with that. Um, yeah, so that, that, was, that was probably the one that I enjoyed most other than the Kelden lights. Um, but yeah, that was probably the one that I enjoyed most. But... And I nearly forgot, there's also obviously Naughty Cam's um, extended macro wide lens. We talked about that last time. Yeah. The, yeah, the stackable, huge, looks like a gun in my opinion. Uh, and it, it's really not very easy to handle underwater either. But the quality you get out of that piece of gear is just absolutely stunning. Yeah. If it wasn't like six and a half grains to get the entire set it will be on my shelf right there but i i just i can't no i can't spend six and a half grains for a lens that's just not <laughs> it doesn't work that way <laughs> oh come on you could you can i mean it, it sounds like you're trying to talk yourself into it in a really roundabout kind of way I, I am actually yes i'm trying to find a good reason how i can sell it to my girlfriend so that she can't really say anything against me getting that lens well, uh, my biggest fear is that if I die, my wife will sell all my dive and camera gear for what I told her I paid for it. <laughs> mm, which will be only a fraction of what you actually yeah. paid, right? Somebody's going to get a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my greatest oh, well. fears in life. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's talk about that um, GoPro 9 of yours that mm. you've ordered. You said you're really looking forward to checking out the 5K on that. What about the, the stabilization? Hasn't that improved a lot over the past model as well? Yeah, supposedly as well. So what I'm, what I'm really looking to do is a side-by-side -side test. So I'll take, okay. a, I'll take a double camera arm and I'll set up the 8 and the 9 next to each other and I'll run, you know, hyper smooth in max. I don't know if the hyper smooth is going to work in 5K, so it might be two different tests. It might be one for right. the hyper smooth and one for the resolution because even the 8 doesn't do hyper smooth in, in 4K 60. Um, so All right. so we'll, we'll, we'll see on that one. But, um, but yeah, supposedly improved. So, you know, underwater... The slightest surge or current, you know how it is, especially with a small camera and a small sensor, the slightest hand movement, and you've got an earthquake. So it'll be really interesting to see how that works out, but they'll probably be on dialed down resolution. But uh, but yeah, I mm -hmm. think, you know, as time marches on, it seems like, uh, okay, so we're, we're in this digital age, we're in the digital hamster wheel until whatever comes after digital. Um, so it's just about getting bigger and better resolutions and... Uh, and hopefully some better low light performance. That's what I'm really hoping for. But hopefully mm -hmm. I'll have it in hand this week. It's been back ordered on me for a while now. So awesome, awesome. Yeah. So talking about what you've ordered, what what's up for next year in like your stockings or what is on your wish list for next year when we talk about gear? Is there anything that um, that you're looking forward to? Something that you've already ordered maybe? Yeah, I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. It really depends if I've been naughty or nice this year. I mean, let's be honest. That's what it comes down to. Um, but yes, I have about $7,000 worth of camera gear in my shopping cart online with Backscatter. We're making a big investment here at Divers Ready in the channel. Wow. And I'm going to build a big rig for the GH5, um, which I'm shooting on right now. Uh, to take this beast underwater and you know we, awesome. we we've talked about it a little bit in the last video but essentially um, I'm sure we'll do a series of videos and I I will even you know bring your uh, advice into play because I know you have a very similar setup to what I'm looking to do and I, I took a lot of your advice to heart when I was picking out items um, but essentially I'm setting up for the first iteration will be for South Africa next year so Big animal, fast action, wide angle, 
Um, so that's the Nordicam housing for the GH5 and mm-hmm. the uh, Atomos Ninja V or 5 Ninja. I still don't know if it's V or 5, but the housing for the monitor, the full HDMI out, all that good stuff. Um, lights Fantastic. I'm probably okay on right now. Yes, I had my hands on those Kelden lights at DEMA last year. And, I mean, they're amazing. And and the um, wireless controller underwater as well for the for the Kelden lights is a, a thing of beauty. But I think that might be, uh, that might be pushing the, uh, you know, Department of War and Finance here a little bit towards the edge. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> on top of everything else. Um, so no, the tray, a few accessories. I'll get some new arms. I'll get some floats. Um, I, I'm quite interested to see your review of the um, adjustable buoyancy floats. I think they were a Kraken arm. Is that correct? Yes, we find or Kraken, which is basically the same company yeah. or the same products with different brand names on it. Um, yeah, they're, they're really good. Um, the review is captured, just not published yet. I'm still kind of... Uh, a little behind on some of the videos, uh, but I've tested them and I, like, I'm gonna get some of these for sure. They're so, so cool uh, and so easy to use and very helpful in getting perfect buoyancy of your camera rig underwater. Yeah. So I can highly, highly recommend them. Yeah. yeah, so I've been holding off on arms and, and floats until that review comes out. So I'm gonna be the first one watching that. I'm gonna comment first. <laughs> all that good stuff so yeah that's it Fantastic. for uh, that's it for me i mean that's a, that's already a huge list you know the setup mm-hmm. will be for the panasonic 714 lens which is uh the wide lens that i shoot most of my b-roll with here in the uh in the studio i think it's yep. just back over my shoulder there um yep. Yep. so that'll be the initial setup and then you know we'll expand from there and build out a macro setup and you know i don't uh, i don't shoot too much macro now so i don't know how prevalent that's going to be in the future but you know shipwrecks sharks that's the stuff i love so big wide angle fan. awesome awesome so what about you my I friend what's on your uh, what's on your santa wish list well one item that has been on my wish list for a few months now actually ever since i've gotten this camera right there the canon c200 is the Nauticam housing for the C200. I've been waiting for that housing. Um, I'm, I'm actually just waiting for the shipment to the dealer here in Switzerland from Nauticam so I can uh, I can first test it, see if it really fits my needs and, uh, and then pull the trigger. But I'm going to do it eventually. It's not a question of whether or not I'm going to get that housing. The question is more when you know and i've got a couple of projects coming up next year so i'm i'm hoping to be able to get it before that but that's going to be in like may and in june next year so hopefully there's plenty of time to get it before then but that's one of the main things that's on my wish list and to be quite honest i mean that kind of also drains my financial yeah. uh, um, possibilities for <laughs> the wish list of this year getting that housing um, but other than that, what else? Um, I've talked about the Kelden lights that I really want. So seeing if that fits in there somehow. Um, and another thing that we'll be doing, um, a friend of mine and myself will be getting um, certified with full face masks because right. we want to be able to, you know, talk underwater as we're filming because he's the, he's the best and he's the guy who's taking all the B-roll shots of me while I'm testing stuff underwater. And in the past, we've had a lot of trouble communicating underwater in terms of, you know, oh, this wasn't good, it wasn't in focus, redo the shot. And we imagine it's going to be much, much easier being able to talk to each other underwater. So that's a course that we'll be doing next week. And then you know how it goes. You do a course and then you need extra gear. So this is something, again, that, that's on the list for next year. And I'll have to get a full face mask at one point. Nice. Which one are you looking at? Later. Um, I'm looking at Ocean Reef because mm-hmm. um, I know the um, the rep, uh, the sales rep for Europe from Ocean Reef, and uh, it seems like uh, we've we've had a talk about their products, and it seems like their products are really really good, and uh, they've got a lot of experience making these full face masks. They've got a really good communication system, which is important for us. So we'll get qualified on the Ocean Reef masks and take it from there. Yeah. Yeah, I have the other one, 
And when I say the other one, there's really only two brands for full face masks. Yeah. It's Ocean Reef or OTS, and I have the OTS Guardian. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's mainly for public safety diving that yeah. I use that for. Uh, I don't have anyone to talk to, you know? I don't have a Sebastian. Well, you know, sometimes it's actually better not to talk underwater because you, you know how many people actually dive so they don't have to talk and listen Me. to other people? Yes, absolutely. It's my favorite thing about diving. I've said it many times on the channel that my favorite right? thing about diving is no emails, no phone calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I enjoy that too. But when you have to get a job done, it makes life easier Absolutely. if you can communicate properly underwater. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Yeah. But I do Fantastic. have to get myself a Sebastian. You do. They're actually, they're not so expensive. No. Where do you, no, where no. Do you go to buy a Sebastian? Is there a Sebastian store? Sebastian.com? Uh, not, not, no, not a specific Sebastian store. Uh, you, you normally pick them up at dive sites uh, or at uh, at un, like underwater imaging uh, stores. They're just hanging uh, around, yeah. They, they normally just hang around there and look for friends. Great. So. I'll look for a sale in yeah. January. See if cool, I'm... yeah. Yeah, they normally... They no, they normally <laughs> this has gone <laughs> way off the tracks yeah, now. After New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think the last thing uh, we should talk about is... Uh, gift giving advice for underwater photographers and underwater videographers so sure. if you've got someone on your list uh not yes. for ourselves we've we've been very you know gluttonous in our purchases and you're getting a big housing and i'm getting a big housing and everyone gets a big housing but what Yay. about for you know if you've got an underwater videographer on your shopping list and you're you're struggling for gift ideas what can you offer mm -hmm. up well, there's always tons of different things that you can give such a person. Personally, I think one of the wisest investments that you can make, if you have someone within your friends or family who is really interested in progressing in their underwater photography or videography game, I think one of the best things to give is a personal, a private one-on-one -on -one tuition with a photo or video pro. Yeah. You know? uh, and it doesn't have to be a, a standard course, but actually having like half a day and maybe one or two dives with someone who really knows what they're doing underwater when they have a camera between their hands um, and have that person observe you while you, you're diving, um, how you take your photos or take your clips, um, go through all the settings and just help you get the best out of the equipment that you've got. Because, and we've talked about this before, that the camera is important, but it's actually the person behind the camera who makes the yeah. the photo or the clip and not the camera per se. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, it's gear and technique, right? And we, we focus a lot of things and products and stuff, but also the training side of things is is absolutely invaluable. Yeah. And, you know, I've talked about it at length on, on my channel, how that underwater video or underwater photography specialty certification card yeah. that piece of plastic is useless it's about how much yeah. enjoyment you get out of the content that you're able to shoot and the card doesn't mean anything no one's ever going to ask to see your underwater photography specialty card like take a camera get it wet and, and go diving so there's no point in selling that formal course coaching is a great way of uh of of sort of you know improving on that technique side gear versus technique yeah. i couldn't agree more that's awesome absolutely yeah absolutely, absolutely i agree what would you say? What is your best tip on gift ideas? Well, I mean, if you've got someone on your list who's a good hint dropper, then, you know, hopefully life will be easy for you. But I'm not great at that. So <laughs> what I've always said is if, if you shoot a certain way, if you shoot a certain camera and there's things that you've really wanted, I always go the safe route of, of gift certificate. So I'll look here in the US. Yes. We have three or four massive underwater uh, videography and, and camera stores so you know I've got people who are instructors who, who are you know bringing up their photography and videography game and gift cards are always great because then that person can always buy exactly what they're looking for to add to the rig that they've already got you know um, and, and I think that's sure, yeah. yeah that's it's just, it's just always appreciated it's a nice thank you um, and uh, and then they can get exactly what they want you know it might not be the exactly. most uh, innovative gift, but it's definitely yeah, always you're not a practical risking one. Getting, getting that person something they don't want, right? Or, or I'm going to use, You can yeah. help them in, in kind of pitching in to a larger 
price for something that they've they've wanted for a longer amount of time. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good idea. Gift cards, and mm, then whatever they buy definitely. with it becomes more personal to them, and then they're going to use it and think of you every time they do. So that's really cool. Absolutely, absolutely. So you're you're still what looking out for someone to give you a seven thousand dollar gift card, right? Well, I mean, you know, we can live in hope, can't we? We, we certainly can. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to pull the trigger on that doesn't happen very this year, soon. If it doesn't happen this year, it might happen next year, right? Right, exactly. We'll see. We'll see. But there Fantastic. we go. Right, so guys, what are what is on your wish list for this Christmas um, when we talk about underwater camera gear or generally about underwater gear, anything that you need for scuba diving. Have you got any specific piece of, uh, of gear, any item that you really want to see underneath that Christmas tree? Let us know down in the comment section below and maybe uh, hint it to the person that should actually buy it for you. That might be a good way to actually get it under that Christmas tree. Or tag them in the video. Yeah, you know, share it or with them. Or tag them in the video. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're mean. We're going Fantastic. on the naughty list. So, <laughs> so what's happening the next couple of days before Christmas with you, James? Are you, you still teaching? Uh, are you already kind of in the holiday season? Uh, no, I've, I'm still teaching for the next couple of weeks. I've got, uh, got a lot of students lined up for the next couple of weeks. And then we take a two-week break for Christmas and the new year. Um, more content coming on the channel. Um, got my new toy. That's getting reviewed. Ooh. So Ooh. that's that's just being yeah being released as we speak, right? Kind of. Uh, yes, as we're recording this, uh, the the Garmin Descent Mark II review has dropped on our channel. Um, that if you you know that would be a fantastic thing on anyone's wish list for a diver, photography yeah. or otherwise. Um, and we're giving one away as well look at that it's christmas how about that it's christmas we're going to do the draw on christmas eve you're kidding you're going to really? do the draw announce it on instagram and email the winner on christmas eve to make someone's christmas and how can people enter that draw uh the video we can link in the description or whatever you want to do to it but it's we'll basically do. the video we'll review the has the link to the contest so fantastic so make sure to Click the little card up here, go and watch that video, the review video, and sign up for that um, giveaway. Um, I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, and that was it for today's Across the Ocean episode where we talked about our um, wish list for this Christmas. Thank you very much, James, for joining me again today. As Ma always, it's been an absolute pleasure having you and talking to you about the things that really um, move us and that we're so passionate about. Likewise, Matthias. Let's do it again next month. Absolutely. I can't wait. And uh, do we know a topic for next month already? We haven't talked about it yet, but I think we've got a few in the comment section from the first video. And thank you to everyone who commented on the episode one across the ocean that dropped onto, onto uh, the Divers Ready channel. A whole bunch of people put suggestions in there so i think we should have a little little rifle through that comment section and we'll pick something out of the bag and uh yeah awesome that's a good idea we'll do that if you've got any other ideas that weren't mentioned in the first video put them down in the comment section below and if you haven't seen the first episode of across the ocean it's going to be linked down in the video description as well as up here in the card in the playlist um, and that first video is hosted on James' channel, Divers Ready. There we go. So there's not much more for us to say than Merry Christmas. Um, have a fantastic last couple of days of this year. Um, and we will see you in this format in the next year. Ho, 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 and happy diving. Merry Christmas, everyone. Does that work? No. Do you want to do it again? No. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Do you want to do it again? I mean, I'm here for it, if you want it. No, I'm good.